Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now I am going to solve question number 3 of weekly contest 466 count ball sub arrays. So now let's read the problem statement. You are given an integer array nums with the distinct elements. Alright, so in our nums array, all the elements are distinct. Alright, a sub array nums L to R of nums is called a ball if the sub array has length at least 3 that is r minus l plus 1 is should be greater than equal to 3 right so here let's say this is 0 index 1 index 2 index 3 index 4 index so how we calculate the length of sub array so let's say your l is here your r is here so simple formula right r minus l plus 1 so r is at 2 index L is at uh, 0 index plus 1 that is nothing but it is equal to 3 so see 2 5 3 this window length is 3 only so this is nothing but the how to calculate the length of window right so sub array has length at least 3 so my sub array it should have length at least 3 and the minimum of its two ends minimum of its two ends so let's say this is one end and this is second end right so end A and end B. Now understand it uh, clearly like here. A, let's say this is A and this is B, right? So minimum of these two ends. So what is the minimum of these two ends? So minimum of these two is this B, right? So I can say, I can say this is the minimum, right? Right. Okay. Now after this, the minimum of its two end, it should be strictly greater than the maximum of all the elements in between so maximum of all the elements in between let's say these are the elements these are the elements c d e f so the minimum of its two end right this and this minimum of its two ends right so that is nothing but this green line right it should be max then it should be strictly greater than the maximum of all the elements in between right in between okay so from here if you notice one thing it is clear that my a it should be greater than all the buildings inside this c d e f and my b should also be greater than all the buildings inside this a and b right so both a and b are both an a and b it they should be greater than the c d e f right so these two buildings should be greater than right always then we have to return the number of ball subarrays in nums. Okay. And what is a subarray? A subarray is a contiguous sequence of elements within an array. All right. And these are the constant size. Okay. Nums dot length from 3 to 10 to power 5. Nums of i values from 1 to 10 to power 9. And nums consist of distinct elements. All right. Okay. Right. So here, how I'm going to solve this problem. So here first see why we're getting out to 2. So here, if you pick the ball subarrays are 314. So it is a continuous subarray, right? 314. So in 314, so here, this is a middle element and here 3 and here it is 4. So see, this is valid, right? Minimum of 3 and 4 is 3, right? And max 1, right? So this is valid. Now here 5 and this is 4 and here this is the minimum right and here inside this 3 and 1 so this is also valid right okay clear done so 5 3 1 4 is a ball uh, because minimum of 5 and 4 is 4 and 4 is also greater than the max of 3 and 1 that's it 3 1 4 is a ball because minimum of 3 and 4 is 3 it is greater than max 1 that is why this is valid right so total 2 okay so now here what we are doing let's suppose this is my uh, example 2 5 3 1 and 4 right so if i am at this ball let's say if i am at this ball so i want something greater than this 5 in this side and i want something greater than this 5 in this side right so if my 5 is like this so i want i want something greater here and i want something greater here that's what i want right and if i have great some greater here and if i have some greater here for this 5 right so in that case i can say 
that this 5 is also going to be part of one ball right right okay why why i am saying that so here let's suppose this is 5 and this is small building right here we have something greater than this 5 and here we have something greater than this 5 so 1 is this one and here if we find something let's say 2 and here we have find something let's say 3 so we are validating this condition also right this condition also becomes valid right the sub area has length at least 3 so at least 3 will be there let's say in between there are some buildings right but at least 3 will be there if i find something greater than 5 in this side and in this side right okay clear and if this is greater than 5 this is greater than 5 then that means that here we from this 5 okay if there are no other buildings uh if they, there is some value greater than 5 here and here that simply means that in between whatever the buildings we have they are always going to be smaller than this bigger buildings right so what we have to do here we have to find the left greater and the left right for all these indexes right so here what i'm going to do i'm going to create one uh, array left greater and here i'm going to create one array let's say right greater right okay so here let's say this is my array same length like above and here also same length like above all right so here this is nothing but zero index one index two index three index four index and here also zero index one index two index three index four index all right initially do one thing fill all the values as minus one right minus one here 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 and minus one here okay now we want to fill the left greater values right so left greater values so first my i is here so for this i there is no left greater value right okay there is no left greater so minus one let it be minus one all right now my i is going to move to the next position my i reaches here let's say this position okay so for five there is no left greater okay so we don't have to do anything now my i reaches here so for this i this is the left greater right first left greater five so five is at nothing but which index here if i write the index 0 1 2 3 4 so here uh, five is at index one so i'm just going to write one here then my i is going to move to next position okay first greater i i'm searching here my i reaches here so for this i first left greater is at two so i'm just going to change it to two okay this value is nothing but two now all right now my i is going to reach here Okay, for this building, what is the left greater? First left greater. 1, no. 3, uh, no. 5, yes, 5. So, 5 is at 1. Okay, so here I am filling 1. Okay, so this is nothing but my left greater. Right? This is how I have to fill. Right. Now, same way for right greater, I have to start from this. Right? So, for this 4, there is no left greater. So, I am writing minus 1 here. That's it. Then, I reach here. My I reaches here. Now, I move in the reverse direction. Right? So now my i reaches here. For this one, this 4 is greater. 4 is at 4 index. Right? So here I am just going to change it to 4. Now my i reaches here. Okay? Backward. At this position. Right? So for this 3, first greater in the right side is 4. And 4 is at 4 index. So I am going to change it to 4. Now my i is going to reach to this position. For this 5, there is no left greater minus 1. Okay? Now my i is going to reach here. And for this 2, the first right greater is 5 at 1 index. So, I am going to write 1 here. Okay. So, I fill this my left greater and right greater. Now, after that, what I need to do? Okay. What I need to do? So, I am now I am again going to run one loop. Right. I am going to check first this for 2. For this for 2, uh, if you see left greater is minus 1 and this is 1. I want both should have some value. Right. Both should have some value at least. Right. So here, if any one is minus one, uh, it is not valid, right? Okay. Next time, next time, my i is going to reach to. Uh, let's use this pencil. Huh? My i is going to reach here. So for this five, left greater is minus one. This is minus one. No, not valid. Okay. Now next time, let's see this uh, i. Okay. Let's treat this as my i. Okay. For this i. So here 1 and here 4. So we have 3 here, let's say. And we have some building here, max building to the left of this one. 
it is saying at 1 so that building height is 5 and at 4 it is saying 1 building right so 3 3 is greater okay so here we have 1 and here we have 4 right so that simply means that with this 3 we have 1 valid okay so we have found this 5 3 1 4 and length is always going to be 3 at least right i have already told you this building and we are searching this this so definitely at least 3 will be there okay now for this 3 it's valid so now this is 1 okay now next time my eye is going to move here my eye reaches here so for this one now here 2 this is 1 so here we have 2 okay so here we have 1 right here we have 1 okay and now here i am saying 2 at 2 index we have bigger value right that is nothing but 3 so that's valid right so here 3 is there okay and here 4 at 4 we have bigger building okay so that's it so this is also valid 3 1 4 okay then my i reaches here here 1 and here minus 1 not valid okay so 5 3 1 4 and 3 1 4 okay done so this is our output this is what we need to do right okay this is clear right now we know how we are going to get the solution but now you may ask how I am going to fill all these values, right? So like here, minus 1, minus 1, like visually it is good, right? In I am seeing the left of this first greater. So if I reach here, so then every time I am going to run one loop from here and then I iterate back. This is what I am going to do, right? Then the time complexity is going to be out of reach, right? We will get time limit exit error if i am at one particular position and again I, again and again i search all the elements in the back side okay so this is a bad right like i want to find the left greater right so from here left greater then from here left greater i want to search all the elements this is what i'm going to do from here all the first left greater from here the first left greater so this is bad so how i'm going to handle that so for that i'm simply going to use the stack okay i'm going to use stack so now let's see how stack is going to work 2, 5, 3, 1, 4. Okay. Let's take uh, this. Okay. Finding nearest greater to the left. All right. So now let me explain this with the code. How my this is going to work. Okay. Uh, let me just slide this here somewhere. Okay. So what is my array? Uh, 2, 5, 3, 1, 4. Okay. 2, 5, 3, 1, and 4. This is my array. Right. So here 0 index, 1 index, 2 index, 3 index, 4 index. Right. These are the indexes. Now first... I want to find the nearest greater to the left. Nearest greater to the left. Okay. This area I have to fill. Right. Now what I am going to do. Initially my stack is empty. Right. So definitely this condition is not satisfied. This condition is not satisfied. So in the stack what I am going to push. I am going to push 0. Right. So uh, I am just going to push 0 in the stack. Okay. That's it. So this is what I have pushed. And initially all these values are minus 1 only. Right. Initially, we have filled all these values as minus 1. Okay. So, now this is done. Now, I am reaching here. Okay. My eyes is here. So, I am going to check first. My stack is empty or not. So, my stack is not empty. There is some value. Right. So, what I am going to do here. So, I am going to check this value. So, nums stack.peak. So, at stack.peak, what we have? 0. Right. So, here I am putting 0. So, nums of 0. Nums of 0 value is 2. So, tell me. 2 is less than uh, this 5. 2 is less than 5 right it is true 2 is less than 5 and this is also true so what i'm going to do we need to find the left greater okay left greater we need to find so i'm just going to pull this right i am going to pull this so now my stack is not empty right so here if my stack is not empty uh, then only we have to fill this otherwise we I, I'm, I have to fill this 5 5 nothing but add index 1 so i am going to add 1 okay so this we didn't execute and we add one okay next time my i is going to read here right so now here at this index stack is not empty and nums and here one at one what we have five so five tell me five is less than this value three false so we are not going to pop anything from my stack we are not going to pop anything so one is there so now I move to this condition. If stack is not empty, stack is not empty. So left greater of i, left greater of i, that means this, okay. I'm going to update it with the stack.peak. Stack.peak is nothing but 1. So here I'm just going to add 1. So here, see, for this 3, 5 is greater at 1 index. So we are adding 1. And then after that, in the stack, what I'm going to push? I'm going to push the this i value. i is nothing but 2, right? right now here i am here right okay now next time my eye is going to move forward okay 
now next time my eye reaches here let's say all right so when my eye reaches here now stack is not empty and nums stack dot peak values nums stack dot peak so here i am going to pass two first so at two what we have uh, at two we have three so tell me three is less than uh, this one no right it's not right three is less than uh, one no it's not so we are not going to execute this now stack is not empty yes it is not empty so left greater of i so stack dot peak so stack dot peak at stack dot peak we have two so i'm going to add a two here so that is also valid for this one this three is the first left greater right at two so i'm adding this two okay then my i is going to reach here at four okay so now when i'm at four right so stack is not empty and num stack dot peak so here stack dot peak same way here also i have to push now this three last time okay so now here for this four okay num stack to stack dot peak three so nums at three what we have one so one tell me one is less than uh, this four yes true so i'm going to pop this i'm going to pop this so i pop this now again this is while loop right stack is not empty yet and now i have to check at two okay so nums and peak this two so at two we have three so three is less than four yes this is also true so i'm going to remove this okay stack dot pop then after that again while loop stack is not empty and stack dot peak here i'm going to pass one so nums at one is five so five is less than four now it is false right five is not less than four so now i'm going to check if stack is empty not empty right there is one so left greater of i so here i'm just going to add stack dot peak that is one so that is right now for this four the first greater in the left is five and five is at one index right that's it so this is how i'm going to fill this using stacks same way you have to do for the right okay so let's see the code now right this is my nums dot length and left greater and right greater we have to find and here i have told you we have to fill minus one and this function you are already clear, clear right how i'm filling the this uh, stack right uh, this arrays left greater and right greater so we have to find the nearest greater to the left and then we have to find the nearest greater to the right okay so here i'm just clearing the stack before applying this operation on this right and i'm moving in the reverse direction and same operation right this is what i need to do okay and then we have to create one variable answer is equal to zero and then i have to iterate over all the walls one by one and if my left gate is not equal to minus one and and right gate is not equal to minus one that's the premise that this is a ball and here we have some bigger and here we have some bigger than this one okay so in that case just simply do answer plus plus right and this is the first greater than this one and this is the first greater than this one right in this side so okay so i if i find this first greater then after that i don't want to find any other values right then it is bad right so only first greater we are finding this is already clear right so answer plus plus and in the end we have to done answer that's it so i hope that you guys are clear with question number three of weekly contest 466 and if you guys still have any doubts then please feel free to ask in comment section till then keep coding and keep practicing meet you guys in the next video thank you bye bye